Hi, this video is going to show you how to set up and modify the parameters by mobile app and input them into the TAFB. Before we start, there are a few notes that we need to make in advance. First, please make sure that the firmware's version of your TAFB is 2.0.1 or above. It can be downloaded from RadioLink official website. Second, the application is only available for phones and pads with Android system, and it can be downloaded by scanning the QR code here or in the detailed instruction manual downloaded from the official website as well. Then we need an Android cable for data transmission and an OTG cable. Connect the bigger end of the OTG cable to the Android cable. While the smaller end to the USB port of the phone. Before we connect the app, we need to power on TFB first. Then tap the app icon and then we enter the parameter setup interface. There are six function tabs and four menus displaying on the interface. Here are the six function tabs. First, disconnect. Generally, the server will automatically display when the app is opened with the TAFB power on and connected. If they are not displayed, Click Disconnect to reconnect. Second, read. When you click it, 4D sounds will be heard, meaning the data from TAFB has been read with success by the app. Now I click Read to read the data. Then update. Whenever we modify or reset parameters, we need to click update to input the data into TAFB. Otherwise, the modified parameters won't be saved in the transmitter. When we click update, a D sound will be heard means the parameters have been transferred to the TAFB successfully. Next is save. It means that you can save the parameters you want as a file into the phone. You can see that when I click save, a notice will pop out telling you that the data has been saved. Last, function tab of load. When you click load, the app will take the file that is saved in the last function tab we explained. If the file save doesn't succeed and there's no data file in form, this function won't be used. Now let's take a look at the four menus in the app. Servo, Basic, Advanced, and System. First, Servo. The eight bars represent eight corresponding channels. When we toggle the switch or joysticks, the servo range of the channel will change correspondingly. Then let's move to the basic menu. There are five parameters that can be personalized. Ref, Sub, EPA left and right, fail safe, and delay. First of all, read for the phase, including reversed and normal phase. For example, phase of channel 3 by factory default is reversed. And we can see that when I toggle the throttle joystick downward, the orange part of the channel 3 bar is moving upward. 
When I toggle it upward, then the channel three bar is moving downward. Meanwhile, the phases of other channels are set normal by default. Let's take channel two for example. That is, no matter I toggle the elevator stick upward or downward, channel two bar is moving moving to the same direction. Then it's sub. It is to make small changes to the neutral position of each servo. The default sub value of each channel is zero, meaning no trimming. If the value changed, the servo range around the central will vary accordingly. Let's take channel 2 as example and modify the default value 0 to 50. Confirm and update. Then let's check the servo range. We can see that when the joystick remains at the central point, the servo range of channel 2 is 20. Now let's modify the value from 50 to 80. Confirm and update. We can find that the servo range of channel 2 has changed from 20 to 33, with the joystick still at the central point. This is how the value change make different performance. And I restore the sub of channel 2 to the default value 0. Don't forget to click update to input. Next is the EPA. It is to adjust each end of each servo range. The default value of this parameter is 96, with the range from 0 to 120. With channel 2 as example, we can see that the EPA left and right are both 96. When I toggle the joystick to top, the maximum value of channel 2 is 96. And same to bottom, the value is 96. If I change the value of EPA left to 120 as maximum, Confirm an update to input. We can see that when I toggle the joystick to top, the maximum value of channel 2 is 120. But to bottom, the value is still 96, as I didn't make any modification on EPA right. So I'm changing the EPA write value to 120 as well. Confirm and update. Now when I toggle the joystick to bottom, we can see that the servo range is reaching 120. 
and up is one hundred twenty as well. And I restore the EPA of channel two to the default value of ninety six. Don't forget to click update to input. So now let's move to fail safe. The function of fail safe is that when the transmitter is losing signal or power off, all the servos will automatically change the position as we said. Please note that the default value of all channels is 50, except that of channel 3 is 0. It means that when the failsafe is activated, the throttle joystick working with channel 3 is at the bottom. If the value is 50, then it will be at the central point. Delay. This parameter is to adjust the synchronous ratio between the servo range and the actual operation. The default value is 100. Here I change the value of channel 2 from 100 to 50. Confirm and update. Then try toggling down the joystick quickly. We can see that the server range moves downward slowly. And when the joystick moves back quickly, the server range move, moves back slowly as well. This is how delay functions. So I restore the delay of channel 2 to the def default value 100. Don't forget to click update. We can see that the server range moves as fast as the joysticks now. And that is no delay. After the basic menu, this is the advanced menu and there are totally four parts, dual triple rate, attitude, Elevon, Mix Control, and VTL Mix Control. First on the left is dual triple rate. We need to turn on the function firstly to activate the function. And then, and then take channel 2 as example. The switch we set as SWA, and we can see that the default value of up and down is 100. Then I modify the up value to 50 and remain the down value as 100. Let's see what result we can get. But before that, Please click update to input the modified parameter. Now let's turn to the server page. We can see that the SWA switch is on the up position. Make sure that it's on the up position. Then toggle the elevator joystick to the top.
the maximum civil range it can reach is fifty. When the joystick is pulled to the bottom, the max range is also fifty. But when I toggle the SWA switch to the down position, the max civil range is one hundred, as we said. No matter I toggle the joystick up or down. This is how the parameters take effect, and now I inhibit this dual triple rate function as default, and update. Second parameter from the left is attitude. Before we start, we need to go to the system interface to set up the related channels that we are going to make as example in the attitude part. For example, set as channel five as SWB and channel six as SWA. Click update to input the data. Is the combination of a two-way switch and a three-way switch to achieve the attitude change? Then turn to the attitude part of advanced menu. Select the channel to turn on the function. Let's set channel five as example. The values behind all six attitudes means different control ratio to output different signals. Let's see what result we can get from the servo interface. Update the data first. When toggle the SWA switch to the down position, the bottom part of channel five is moving. If changing the SWB position, if the SWA switch is at the top position, it is the above part of the channel five servo range is moving with the changing SWB. And the moving range of channel five is determined by the values behind attitude one to six on the advanced menu. Now I inhibit this function as default and click update to input. Now let's move to the Elevon Mix Control. In order to set up the proper parameters, please note that different names stand for different servos. Elevon 1 is Elevon. Elevon 2 is Elevator. Elevator 1 is Elevator. And Elevator 2 is Elevon. First, turn on the Elevon Mix Control function. Then modify the value of Elevon 1 left as 50. And remain all the other values as 100, the default. Then click Update to input the data. Let's take a look at the servo range. When I toggle the Aeron joystick to the far left, the max range of channel 1 as Aeron is 50 as I modified, while that of channel 2 as elevator is 100. Now I'll try again and let's go back to the advanced menu. 
This time, I modified the value of aileron two left, same as aileron one left. Both values are fifty. And click update to input. When I toggle the aileron joystick to the far left. We can see that the max range of both channel 1 and channel 2 is 50. The last part of the advanced menu is the VTL mix control. This mix control cannot be activated with the Elevon mix control at the same time. So since I'm going to show you the VTEL mix control, I need to disable the elephant first and click update to input. Then turn on the VTEL mix control. Same as elephant mix control. Different names stand for different servos. That is, elevator 1 is elevator. Elevator 2 is rudder, rudder 1 is rudder, and rudder 2 is elevator. Elevator is channel 2 and rudder is channel 4. Now I keep the value of elevator 1 as 50 by default but change that of elevator 2 to 100. Confirm. Update. When I toggle the elevator joystick to top, the max value of channel 2 is only 50, while that of channel 4 is 100 as we said. Then I restore the value of elevator 2 to minus 50 and click update. Then I'm trying to set the value of rudder 2 as 100, while that of rudder 1 remains the same as 50. Confirm. Update. Let's take a look at the change of the servo range. When I toggle the rudder joystick to the far left, the max range of channel 4 is 50 while that of channel 4 that of channel 2 reaches 100 so this is how different values in different channels will perform and i disable the vtel mix control as default and Click update. Last menu is the system menu. In this menu, there are three parts auxiliary channels, programmable mix control 1 and programmable mix control 2. In the part of auxiliary channels, we can personalize channel 5 through channel 8 and appoint the three switches as preferred. Transmitter voltage. It means if the transmitter voltage goes lower than this value, we set here, TAFB will have warning tone to remind. Stick mode. As the TAFB we show in this video is with throttle joystick on the left, its stick mode is 2. If you prefer the joystick, throttle joystick on the right, 
then you can change the stick mode to one version. The value here shows the firmware version of the TAFB and it cannot be modified unless the new firmware is flashed. Now let's go to the programmable mix control one. As it is same as programmable mix control two, I'm taking the mix one as example. First, turn on the mix control function. Then master as channel two while slave as channel four. The default value of up and down is zero. I'm setting the value behind down as 50 and keep the up value as zero. Update. It means that when I toggle the joystick downward, there is mixed control of channel 2 and channel 4. Meanwhile, since the value I set is 50, when the max range of channel 2 is 100, that of channel 4 is 50. But when the joystick is toggled upward, only channel 2 is moving as that of channel 4 is 0. Then the parameter offs in the mix control. The default value of is zero, means it's the central point where mix control takes effect when the joystick is toggled up and down. If I modify the value to 60, Confirm. Update. Let's see the servo range. The mix control won't perform until the servo range goes to 60. And this is how OFFS works. This is all for the TAFB parameters set up with Android app. The above explanation is simply show you the example and you can personalize you can personalize the channels as preferred. For more details, please refer to the instruction manual downloaded from our official website or send mails to our after-sales service for tech support.